I take the days around Labor Day off. So I fished yesterday, had fun, caught one tuna. Um, should have caught a lot more, but I didn't. And running late this morning, gonna go down to have dinner with friends tonight. Um, and as running, I found this lock. Now the interesting part about this lock is I'm guessing it was sitting on the back of someone's bumper or something like that, or pickup truck, and it fell off. Now it's unlocked right now as I found it. And I'm guessing if I lock it, I will probably never unlock that lock again. But if you look at the bottom of it, there are little numbers there. I could probably contact Master and get a key for it. Or I could probably go to a locksmith and he could give me a key for it according to what numbers he has on it. And I could open it and I could use it and I could make it my lock. But to do that, I'd have to know how to get in. You know, it's the same whether you're talking about the kingdom of God and Jesus Christ. It's the same whether you're talking about a friend and friendship. It's the same whether you're talking about yourself and your heart and your happiness. A lot of us, somewhere along the line, we locked down. We closed it up and we haven't let new people in for ages. A lot of us, somewhere along the line, we lost the key. We don't even know where the number is anymore. Much less how to get the key. I want you to know someone knows the way in. God loves you so much. I mean, that's the reason it says in John 3, 17, right after that famous verse, John 3, 16, it said, For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. You see, God loves you the way the very best Father on the planet Earth. That's the reason the metaphor of the Father is used for God. Not because God, some old dad up there with a wallet ready to loan you 20 bucks. But because hopefully it's a metaphor we can all relate to. One that when we think of God, we can think of someone who's loving. It could just as easily be mother. One who loves and nourishes and encourages us. But it's that metaphor which is important to each one of us. Because all of us at some time in our lives, we're walking around and we are locked up. We're locked up to new relationships. We're locked up to new growing, to new learning. We have locked ourselves up. And we say, yeah, maybe if someone finds that magic number. Friends, life is so much better for each one of us. See this lock? The number is literally right on the bottom of it. A complete stranger. All I had to do was pick this up and know with confidence that I could go ahead and order a key for it and be able to get, out, get into this lock again. I could go to a keysmith with confidence and get into this lock again. How do you get into your heart today? How do you get into your head today? How do you get into your spirit today? Maybe you need someone willing to look deeply enough to find the number that you've hidden away from them. But you see, each of us were born unlocked. We're the ones who close ourselves up. And for each of us, we need to remember life is so much better when we're open to everyone that we come across. So much better when we're loving to everyone that we come across. So much better when we're building happy, fun-filled, exciting, adventurous relationships. Whether you're 16 or 65, it makes life better. In fact, that's how we become the miracle. Hey, you want to be the miracle today? Go out, get unlocked. If you know who you need to talk to, talk to that person. Give them a call. If you need to get on your knees, get on your knees. Talk to God. If you just need to be honest with yourself, do that. Let's unlock ourselves and let's be life and hope for each other. Have a fantastic day. I'm going to have fun with friends. You're invited.